Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is Samak from Al-Qabi Dawis. And I'm reading this book from Adi Muslimah. Link to the PDF version in the description box, inshallah. So this section is entitled, She is Generous and Honors Her Sisters. So this section actually talks about um, generosity that is shown between Muslims. And we know that in Islam, giving gifts and sharing food is something that is from the Sunnah. And it helps to increase the love between people and subhanallah this is one of the blessings that we have in islam and it's not specific to islam because there are many cultures which have this as well and something um that is really enjoyable for most people to meet and congregate over is food and alhamdulillah um, allah has blessed us with you know having access to different types of food and even in the sunnah we can see that there's so many examples where gatherings were done even um, with very the most basic types of food whether it be dates or just a little bit of bread you know small portions of meat but we have in our sunnah when for example the hajj season comes that we you know if those of us who choose to do slaughter we divide it and we give portions to different members of the community subhanallah so we can see that islam itself encourages us to treat people well by sharing food with them and giving food to them inshallah but also when you invite people to come and eat with you so much blessing can be received from that inshallah and one of the things that's mentioned in, in this section actually which i found quite um interesting is um it mentions that um, a lot of women these days especially in the west are suffering from spiritual and emotional dryness subhanallah this term that i um you know read in this section it made me really think and reflect and it said that the main reason for this spiritual emotional dryness is individualism and selfishness because when one is constantly focused on themselves and what they can gain and what they are entitled to and what they need and what they want and their own achievements and their own goals we miss out on the blessings of the community of mixing with others and, and of serving others in the community as well. So there's so much to have by congregating and mixing with others, inviting people and sharing what we have with them. Because when we share what we have with others, this in itself helps to bring barakah. By sharing what we have, even if it's so small, it helps us to stop feelings of stinginess and selfishness from growing inside of us, subhanAllah. Because, and, and this is something that can be seen if we look at, for example, um, countries where or, or places where people are suffering from having the bare minimum those places usually are, are where when people go and visit they, they are the most welcoming to others they are most giving you know and without any kind of reservations they don't they don't they're not restricted feeling that oh this is mine and this is for me only they're very generous and they share when we become people who are only thinking about our, our own personal gain and not looking to share things with others we become people who are lonely essentially because we lose the ability to be able to show love and affection to other people and then what happens is that that yearning and that um, human need to find love and affection in another human being is replaced with something else so for some it could be an animal they that they take as their best friend or close you know companion and this is very common in the West as well. And also there's other things that people use, for example, different addictions that people have, whether it be drugs or otherwise. They, these things are used because people are lacking love and, you know, this kind of bond of brotherly or sisterly love with other human beings. So much so that it's affected them and they sometimes even lose sight of why it's happened. But a lot of the time it's because, you know, it's coming from this... Um, place of emotional and spiritual dryness where people have been trained into believing that you know their way or their key to them being happy is by fulfilling their own selfish desires but the reality is as human beings the more we do for others with um, selflessly and of course from the islamic perspective for the sake of allah the happier we will be inshallah ta'ala alhamdulillah for everything jazakallah khair for listening Anything that I've said which is correct is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and anything that I've said which is incorrect is from myself and Allah knows best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.